So, when I was looking into buying a new router, or a new Bell home hub, if you will, I did not get a lot of direct information. When I went to the YouTube videos, the videos pretty much just talked about, you know, technical stuff that regular people don't really understand. It really, you know, it's hard to find videos that review things without them being kind of critical. Oftentimes when people review items, they get it for free, so they tend to review it up a little bit. I'm just to give you the straight goods on this thing as far as I could see, and I have been using it for a few months. The Bell Home Hub, in my opinion, is a slight improvement to the Bell Home Hub 3000. This Bell Home Hub 4000 has a better signal, so if I'm at one end of my home, I don't absolutely need a second router on because the signal strength is much improved. So that's a benefit. Just to let you know, this only works if you have the fiber optic connection going into your home. If you still have the copper line going into your home, like the traditional phone line, this will not work in your home. That's the first thing. Um, another thing too, it does not have a battery backup. So that might be an issue because if you lose power a lot, maybe you want that battery backup. So this does not have it. The Home Hub 3000 does, but the Home Hub 4000, which is this white device here, does not. Also too, just to let you know, it only has four internet ports. So very few things could be connected to it directly. The Home Hub 3000 was the same way. So again, I might have my PlayStation hooked up to it, Roku device, uh, let's say television and then maybe something else and that's all you could have directly hooked up to it so it doesn't give you a lot of options ideally there would have been more ports another positive to this device besides signal strength is that it reboots really really fast so if you go into my bell app and hit reboot you might have all your services working fine including television within I don't know two minutes it's a pretty fast reboot. So I would say that. Also too, when we watch Netflix, you have no buffering like you did before with the Home Hub 3000. Now, to clarify that, we did improve our internet package because they had with Bell a certain package where if you get the new um, Home Hub 4000 and you upgrade to Bell Fiber Optic, you get a... I guess a promotion, a three or four month promotion on internet. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but again, it does deliver better signal strength and more speed. So I would give kudos on this item. Again, it should really have a battery backup, but it does not. It's not even an option. That's my review on the Bell Home Hub 4000.